what's going on? My name is Peter Cirillis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports and commercial work. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create the super slow motion effect that you just saw at the start of this video easily inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. The video footage that I'm using today for this tutorial is provided by the Canadian Elite Basketball League, who I work for as a video editor. They are letting me use it in this video for educational purposes so that I can teach this effect. So if you wanna see more content from the CEBL, you can go follow them on Instagram right here at CEB League. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have our clip loaded up in the timeline. You can see the player walks by and flicks his hat. So if we right click and go to properties, we can see information about this clip, specifically the frame rate here is what I'm interested in. So this clip is shot in 120 frames per second, which means it's already pretty slow and we're gonna make it even slower. So let's come to the clip, show clip keyframes, time remaining speed. This lets us adjust the speed of the clip. So now we're going to scroll through this clip and find where we want this super slow motion effect to start. So I kind of like starting it on this motion of the hat being waved down. It seems like kind of a good place to introduce this slow motion. So let's hold command and left click and we get this little thing here that we can use to create speed ramps. We'll pull it out a little and then we're gonna go to where we want the super slow motion effect to stop, maybe like here. So let's hold and make another point there pull that out a little and now we're going to slow this clip down for our super slow motion effect so because this clip is shot in 120 frames per second we would typically on a 24 frame per second timeline which is what we're working on right now be able to slow this clip down to 20 percent speed because 120 is 5 times 24. if we want to make this slower than that I'm, there's another technique that we can use called optical flow which we're going to get into so let's check the composition settings first, or the sequence settings rather, to make sure that we have the correct sequence. We have 24 frames per second, or 23.976 specifically, and we have a 1920 by 1080 frame. So that's fine for now. Let's click OK, and we're going to slow this all the way down to 10%. Now when we play this back, you can see that it plays back and it's like really jittery, like you don't want this. It clearly looks like it's slowed down below the composition frame rate which is 120 frames per second, and we don't want to have that. But if we hold Command and R to bring up the speed and duration, you can change the time interpolation to optical flow. And what optical flow does is it tries to recreate frames in between the frames that Premiere Pro can see. So it's like generating frames that don't actually exist to make your video playback smoother when you drop it below the composition frame rate, which in this case is 120 frames per second, which lets you go to 20%. We've dropped to 10% here, which is the equivalent of 240 frames per second. But this optical flow is going to generate frames in between what we actually shot to make that movement look more smooth. So we'll have images that didn't actually exist filling in our video. This works really well if you have a clip where the difference from one frame to the next isn't that large. If you have a clip where the motion is very fast, and the difference between one frame and the next frame is substantial, they don't look very similar, then Premiere Pro is gonna have a difficult time generating the frame that would go in between those two to make the video look smooth. So you'll get like this weird artifacting and all these unwanted elements that makes your video look choppy and just irregular and like kind of blotchy. But in this clip, we just have a player who's going back and forth. His facial position is pretty similar the entire time. He's really the only element in focus in the foreground. Because of that, it's like pretty easy for Premiere Pro to follow his face along, keeping the same facial expression and just filling in a frame every now and then. So optical flow works really well in this clip and that's why we're gonna be able to slow this down to super slow motion. So you saw when I clicked optical flow and clicked okay, immediately the bar above here became red. That means that this clip needs to be rendered in order to play back smoothly because Premiere Pro can't just play it back regularly like when we had the yellow bar, which means it would be skipping frames, but we could play our clip back right away. So we're going to render this clip. You can just click enter and it'll render everything on your timeline. You'll get this little pop-up right here. And you just need to wait for your clip to render and then we'll be able to play this entire clip back and see if our super slow motion effect worked. All right, now our clip is fully rendered. So you can see that the red bar on the top of the timeline has turned green, which means that we can play our clip back without dropping any frames. So now we're going to look at it and see how our super slow motion effect looks. Premiere Pro did a really good job filling in those frames and our once jittery clip now looks very, very smooth. At 10% speed, 
which is twice as slow as you would have normally been able to get it to without using optical flow stabilization. The only thing we have left to do to get this clip ready to post on Instagram if you want to do it is cut it for the correct aspect ratio. I want to put this on Instagram Reels, so I'm going to make it 1080 by 1920 or 9 by 16 and put a color grade on it. So quickly, let's go to sequence settings. We're going to change our frame size to 1080 by 1920. That is going to give us a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. We'll click OK. Now we can see it's going to make us render again. We don't need a render again. We know this is already slowed down correctly, but we're just going to scale it up to make everything fit the screen. So let's bring it up so there's no black in the screen to 100 and that works 178. Let's go one more just to be safe. 179. And we're going to reposition this so that the player is in the middle of the screen, just like that. And I'll put a color grade on this. So let me grab an adjustment layer. We'll pull the adjustment layer all the way across the video. And we can now put effects like a Lumetri color effect or any other changes we want on this adjustment layer. And they will affect the video below it, which in this case is our slow motion clip. So let's go to the color tab real quick. I'll just bring this over here. I normally have two monitors, but I'm just going to show you this this way real quick. And we're going to search for a preset that I've already made called CEBL Log Footage Color Grade. I use this preset that I've made to color my footage for the Canadian Elite Basketball League, who I work for. So we'll drop that on the adjustment layer. We will scale the adjustment layer up so that it fills the entire new frame. And there we go. Our footage is now color corrected. Just like that, this clip has been brought down to 240 frames per second slow motion, even though it was shot in 120. And you now understand when you can use this optical flow effect on your clips to create a smooth looking super slow motion effect. All right, that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos just like this one on a regular basis. And I would love to have you around for those. And if you wanna see more of my work in its entirety, then please go follow me on Instagram at PeaceSirEllis. That's where you'll be able to find more of my work and get in touch with me if you want to. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. So until next time, peace.